Hey, I'm Rachel J, and this is Cultivator Kitchen. Today we are making Kuri Gohan, which is a Japanese chestnut rice dish. In this recipe, I use half regular sushi rice and half sweet or mochi rice. That other type of rice is very easy to find at any Asian grocery store. I couldn't find it near me, so I bought it online, and I will link to that in the description below in case you need to buy some too. I hope you guys are gonna love this simple Japanese recipe. My blog, which I started five years ago this month, I started with a lot of Japanese recipes and trips to Japan, so I feel like it's really great to circle back to that. If you make this recipe, post a picture to Instagram so I can see and tag me. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every single week. All right, here's the recipe. On the left, I have half a cup regular sushi rice. And on the right, you can see that sweet rice. Here is the sweet or mochi rice that I use. I will make sure to link to it below. Some organic chestnuts. And I'm using Marin. This is my favorite kind, it's all natural. And you can see it doesn't have any added sugar. A teaspoon of sea salt, and that is all you'll need. I'm gonna add the rice to my rice cooker. I like to give my rice a really thorough rinse at least two to three times. I'll swirl it around, agitate it, and then I will pour carefully pour off the liquid and until it runs clear. So you can see that here that it's still cloudy. So I'll rinse this one more time. And once it's all rinsed, then I'm gonna go ahead and take the rice in the pot and put it in my rice cooker. You can cook this also on the stovetop. Just follow the package instructions for the regular sushi rice. I'm gonna add the sea salt here and then two teaspoons of the marin. This is going to give it a really authentic flavor. This is what the chestnuts look like out of the package and I'm going to just throw those right on top of the rice and it looks really beautiful. I'm using the water amount recommended for my rice cooker. Again follow the package instructions for the sushi rice. Once I hit cook my rice cooker is going to sing to me <laughs> which is awesome and I'm going to wait until it's done. Once it's complete, it'll say zero hours, then you can open it up and you can see the chestnuts cooked right on top of the rice and it looks absolutely beautiful. I'll take my rice spatula and I'm just going to gently fold in the chestnuts so they're evenly distributed into the rice and I'm gonna make sure not to be too forceful so I don't break the chestnuts up. You want them to be in nice big pieces. And that's it. I'm just gonna serve this up. It serves about two to three people and it's absolutely delicious as a side dish or as your main dish. I hope you guys will love this recipe. Enjoy.